Yo guys, I'm Fast Fingers. Welcome back to this tutorial on animated graphics or motion graphics in Photoshop. These are going to be used in OBS on my live stream. And what the plan is, is that we'll have this little tile that comes up and says subscribe, share and like, and then drop back down and fade away. So this is going to be to show you how to do it. Uh, first things first, you need to set up these layers. So for each tile I've got here, I've got them in folders here, like for instance the subscribe one. I've got my text there. I've got the black bar on the background and the border and then the YouTube logos there. So what the first thing we need to do really is to get the timeline up and then we can see where we're at. To do that, you go into the window and then down to timeline. That brings up this. Right, while we're in here, we do need to check this before we carry on. And that's the frame rate of this timeline. I use it at 30. So, yep, that's set at 30. Only because I stream at about 30 FPS. And we're going to start with the subscribe. But first... First, we need to get all these behind each other. So they are in line. As you can tell now, they are in line. So what we need to do is place them on top of each other quite accurately. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. By clicking on the one that you want to move, these little folders, or you could even just click the separate layers and hold control down and click on each of them. And then keep the control held down and then click on the background and then you can move it around freely. This stops uh, Photoshop actually grabbing the background there, the background layer, and pulling it down with it. So now you can let go of the control and hold the shift button down. Then this locks it in a vertical position. So now I can drag and drop that on top of there, like so. And then we do need to do the same for the share. There we go, like so. And then what we need to do is we need to get these to uh, scroll up. But it's important down here that we get the time the time shift right. So the first ones that we're going to uh, play with is the like. So if you go down here and expand the like folder, you'll see the three layers there. So the plan is here is that it's going to take one second to go up. It's going to stay on there for four seconds and then drop back down. Or we could even do it fade away. Not too sure yet. So what we need to do is come to one second in. Well, actually, we need to set the position of each one. So if you expand these, let's move that up a bit. And then we'll put that there. You do need to set the first keyframe. So if you click position, transform and position that will set the starting point which is there so now we need to move it onto one second and then we need to move them up onto that line because that line represents the top of my bar so they will be hidden behind another black bar that has my subscriber count on so again we hold control down or we make sure all of them are selected hold control drag it about a little bit but let off control and hold shift and then we'll take it up to that line drop it as you can see it's dropped two uh, three new points down here for the positions of the layers and if we drag that back you can see it raising and lowering you can even preview this as well by clicking that play button see that's okay that's exactly what i was aiming for so now we need to add four seconds onto that. So that's going to be the fifth second. Which is the end, the end here. So we want it to go on a little bit further. So we'll drag them out like so. These are the layers we'll come into show after. It's just that they're not in the timeline at the moment. So we need to drag them out like this. Well, there's the background back. 
So we're at one at the fourth second. So we've got one second on its incline. And then we've got four seconds of it staying where it is. So again, we need to put them key points down on position, transform and position again. Drag these out a little bit further. I right, won't do it with that. So you have to do it individual layers. We're actually going to pull these back shortly. Then we go to the sixth second. The background has disappeared, so we'll drag that layer out as well because that needs to stay on all the time. And then we need a new keyframe in its original position. So again, click on the layers, hold the control down, and all three layers are selected. And then click, drag, let go and hold shift and then get it down there. There it is. So now we can uh, watch this from the start. So it should stay up there four seconds now. And then go back down. Now for some reason that bar needed dragging out as well. Let's see if it'll carry on playing. Yep. There we go. So far, I'm happy with that. So now what we need to do is we need to set up the fade. So we're going to have it dropping back down. So in that time, we need the other layers to start coming up at this point on the sixth second. So they overlay as they go, as one's going down, the other one's coming up. So we're finished with these layers at the moment. And we'll go into the shares. Now we need to expand these further over. To expand each layer. That we can drag that down. And we can select all these layers in the uh, share folder now which is that, that, and that. We need to select uh, the keyframe position, which is that, that, and that. That's the starting point, which is where it is at the moment. And we need to move this forward to one second, which is there. And we need to select them again and then hold the control down drag them up but hold shift so it stays in its vertical position and let go there again we need to expand that uh, background layer so that is our second position But the problem is at the moment, they don't overlay as such. So now we need to pull these points back to match the other. So how we do that is scrolling back up to the top. And we make sure that these, you can drag these back, are in the middle of them two. And then pull these back too. like that. Now we should get an overlap. Hmm. These two need pulling as well, pulling into line. They're overlapping a little bit, but not much. So we need to pull them back even further. Then put the marker on the second one. Let's try that. There we go, that's better. Let's 
So now what you can do is go ahead and do the same thing that we did on the first process, but on the, on the uh, share layers. So we'll move, expand them out. Like there. So we need to come forward four seconds from this point. That's one, two, three, four. So that's the 10. Then we set our keyframes again, or key points, should I say. And then we'll move out another second. And then we need to select all the layers by holding control down again. Clicking, dragging, letting go and holding shift, taking it under that line, letting go, and then we've got the new key points. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and finish off on the last layer, and then I will be right back. Right guys, we are back. I've managed to sort it out. So now if we play it, we can see that the light comes up stops at the line, stays there for four seconds, drops back down and the share one pops up. Then the subscribe one comes into focus and then straight up and it stays there for four seconds and drops back down. Right, so that's the animation part taken care of. But if we were just to render it out as it is, the uh, it would continuously play. So it would be doing that all the time. So now we need to set up the time in between each one of the uh, the rotations of the play or the durations so let's say for instance i want that to show up four times every hour that means every 15 minutes that's when i want it to uh, show so this is where your background layer comes into play what you can do is that's one minute you can keep dragging it out until you hit 15 minutes mark I'm doing right now there's the 15 minutes and then we'll give it another little bit just for the animation time so now it will take 15 minutes to cycle through so what we're going to do is we're just going to play it to watch the animation just to make sure that we're happy with it I think that looks fine so far now to save it, you have to, uh, you can't just save the thing, you have to do it a special way by going down to export and then save for web. Then it brings up this window. It calculates all these things out. Um, that little gap should be okay. We can actually play it from here, I think. It's actually calculating the frames. So the loop options should be set to forever. Uh, we need it on uh, GIF or GIF. Uh, all these settings are just normal settings. And then we go save. And this is my green screen folder, I call it. And we'll call this uh, like, share, subscribe. And then we export that. You'll see the bars counting up and it's gone. Right, so now we need to set this up in uh, OBS Studio. These are my uh, videos that I need to uh, sort out when I get time. Right, so now we've got OBS Studio open. This is just a, a background image that I have. Uh, just for this purpose, but this is Farming Simulator 15. If you notice here that my animate, these are all these graphics are animated, even my main logo. 
and these here and that is actually interactive that it would does actually it is a live count so what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to put the graphic in so it comes up above here so all you'd need to do for that is go add image and we'll call this like sub share even though we've got that wrong way around it doesn't matter for this and then we just browse to the uh, actual folder which is green screen there it is and then we can add that in so as you see it's playing now it is actually just a little touch too big maybe but what we can do is go on here and go filters and we're going to add a filter Uh, it's actually uh, key color that way color key should I say use that and you can actually set select a color by opening this window click the background okay on there take these down and what we'll do is we'll make this bigger and make sure that we get these correct Take out that orange. And then what we need to do to get it to animate again, all you need, oh, it's actually doing it itself. So now we need to put this in order. So we want it behind that black bar. And then you can, There we go. So that's how you do animated graphics. You have to play around with it, guys, to get it how you want. But there is an issue with this at the moment. It's it's replaying too quick. So maybe I think we need to drag one of the other layers out quite far to match the background. So that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I hope you stick around for part two because part two we're going to add some more. We're going to make the thumbs up uh, flicker a little bit to draw the eye to them, uh, to those actions, if you'll call them. So please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.